I would like to start this video by saying that I'm in the Netherlands, ready to do my longest walk, one stage walk ever, 160 kilometers in 29 and a half hour. But I am at home, I'm not in the Netherlands. But I was. Uh, the reason I'm starting this video at home is that um, I was not able to get a taxi from my hotel to the starting area so I had to walk those four kilometers of course taking extra time uh, so I just barely reached the starting area in time so the video I made on the way to the starting area was not a video it was a picture anyway here's my experience from the Netherlands So I made it five minutes before the deadline. Uh, so I dropped off my my bag. Well, my suitcase. These are gonna carry, of course, as always. Gonna put up the flag soon. So now it's uh, 32 minutes until we actually start walking. As you see, weather is beautiful. Uh, last two years, I heard it was raining a lot. So I'm really lucky with this year that I'm participating can be tough, hard and great. So five minutes to the start. Yeah, actually getting a little nervous. Longest stage ever. Uh, but yeah, it's gonna be good. Uh, I'm not totally sure how things are going, to, going on here, but I think the first 18 kilometers we have to walk in a group. And that will be uh, a seven kilometer an hour uh, pace, uh, then it's the first resting area, and uh, then I think it's we just walk individual. Of course, there are time limits and there are cut off times, so yeah, just gonna enjoy it. Walkers, I will start this uh, announcement in English, and uh, I've trained myself to do a little bit of English. Uh, because this is quite exceptional that we have people from Norway, Denmark, US, uh, UK, England, uh, Germany and Belgium. So very much welcome, bienvenue, welcome, welcome for ook voor onze Belgische vrienden. Hartelijk welkom en natuurlijk de rest van de Nederlanders. 48 mensen aan de start en 13 gaat het niet halen. Prachtig weer, zo slecht als vorig jaar zal het toch niet worden. Dat zei ik vorig jaar. En ik ga dit keer niets over het mooie weer zeggen. En ik ga niets zeggen over uitvallers. And just like that we started. Je bent gekomen. 160 kilometers contingent. Amazing. And also, I was just told it seems like I'm the first Norwegian ever doing this. Extra bonus. Okay, a short break here. Anyway, I learned after each resting point, you have to, you have to wait. We're starting as a group after each resting point. So you kind of have to finish this in 29 and a half hours. It's not possible to walk much faster since you have to stop. So 
Yeah, so it's not possible to walk fast in the beginning, save up some time and for when you walk slower, save up later during the night or day tomorrow. You have to keep the, it's, if you walk fast, it's just that you get more resting time at the, at the resting areas. I'm not gonna film to that side because five guys watering the trees. So that's 18 kilometers. Get some snack, well, sandwiches, and a drink. And uh, no one forced to stay here for a while. I don't know when we're starting. But, yeah. Good place for break. And one more thing, by the way, if I didn't tell you, this is the 56th edition. And it's uh, 58 participants. So that's what, yeah, we're starting again after the first break. 18 kilometers and uh, the next one is I think in yeah it's around 40 kilometers so 22 to go I think so that guy is from the Netherlands he did the Camino this year, Camino Norte, walking from the Netherlands. So 350, yeah, 3,500 kilometers. Also, I met three other guys. Who's, uh, was it four other guys? Three or four other guys who's done the Mountain de Sable. Three guys. And two of them did it this year, same as me. And the other guy, the third guy, did it uh, last year. So, yep. You always meet someone you have something in common with on these kind of walks. Other than just doing the walk. And we are not only forced to start together at, after each resting point, also two kilometers before the finish, we stop, gather as a group, and we cross the finish line together. And it is beautiful here. No, I decided to walk by myself for a while because you, it's not like you have to walk in the group. You can walk kind of the speed you want to, but uh, you always have to be at the resting point at a certain time. And from each resting point, you always start as a group. But <laughs> in between, you can, you are free to do with that, whatever.
I just uh, passed a place I could uh, refill, get some lemonade, get some soda, get some cake. Forgot to take picture, but I'm sure there would be other places. So, yeah. It is warm, so I'm trying to be good at my drinking. And of course, when I think I'm doing a good job, I'm probably not. I should probably drink more, so I drank a lot there. And yeah, refill my one bottle, so yeah. I think it's going well. So no, <laughs> so no some guy from the organization came on his bike passing me and started bragging about the mountains. Well, here's one of the mountains, he said. Yeah, it's a big one. Mountain. So that was 36 kilometers and what's so special about 36 kilometers honestly nothing but if you take the length of this walk 160 kilometers minus those 36 kilometers you will get to 124 kilometers and that's a special one because before starting today or still is 124 kilometers is the longest continuous walk I ever done. And I've done that three times, so I know that's not a problem. And since it's then 124 kilometers left, I know I'm gonna do this walk. Easy peasy. So the marking here is quite good. Even though I have the GPS and the watch, the marking is excellent. And it's uh, almost, I would say it's impossible to go the wrong direction. Unless you are too busy making videos with your phone or taking screenshots of the kilometers but anyway I have never done that without having people behind me yelling at me walking in the wrong direction so yeah as always when you walk keep your eyes open I'm just about to get to the resting area at 14.7. It's uh, 17.32. And if I, now after done 25% of this, 40 kilometers, if I understand this right, since the information signing up was poorly, I think the departure time from here is 18.05 so that means there will be a yeah call it a forced break here for 30 minutes I don't normally have 30 minutes breaks if there's not possibility to get a beer but I doubt it is so I charge the phone then camping site. I hear music and resting area should be pretty close. Maybe there's a chance to get up here after all. So got the phone charging and guess what?
it's about time to get started again, but who wants to leave this place? They have beer and listen to the music. Well, there would be another good place somewhere. The rivers are just down there. That come from the south, the Rhine, the Val, etc. He's telling me about the mountains again. Yeah, I know. This guy doesn't believe that this is a mountain. But this is the Amerungse Berg, and Berg in Dutch is mountain in English, right? So, and it's really high for and our view. And how high are we now? Uh, maybe 40 meters, so that's really high for Dutch. Yeah. Remember, you can also go very low. At the lowest point in the Netherlands is like minus 12. So you have to start calculating a little bit different. This is a good lesson, you're giving me a lot of facts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm and, learning something. And during this, walk you're going to go far below sea level so hopefully the Dutch do good in water management yeah hopefully Otherwise you have to swim the last part crossing our fingers yeah but you <laughs> certainly have now seen our mountains yes and it's beautiful scenery kilometers will be at the 50 kilometer point and when we leave there we have to put on our reflective vest. Some people have already started to put them on. So more facts. This is the longest organized walk in the Netherlands. And as I said before, I'm the first Norwegian doing it. So that was the first 50 kilometers. And now it's also time to put on the reflective vest. So just about uh, five, six hundred meters, getting up to the fifty five point eight kilometer resting area. That's the, the a big one. So it's a dinner there. I don't know what that is. But that would be like a 45 minute break. And I think when I'm there, I will change shoes. I have another pair of shoes with me. So I'm gonna change shoes just so my feet get some variation and you use them for a while and maybe change back. Just see what I think is best. So it's dinner time. dinner break now just one around five kilometers left uh, dinner uh, cauliflower soup took a picture of that I forgot to take a picture of the pasta but you saw the plate afterwards and then some uh, fruit salad and yogurt for dessert and a good beer anyway get the light on now 
just in case it's needed to be used during the night. This is 55, the next big break is at 77, I think. So, yeah. Ready to keep on walking. Yep, another group start. Yeah, and the picture from the dinner with the guys, that was the Marathon des Sables table. And two of the guys that did it this year and the one guy who did it last year. We gotta stay together. That was 60 kilometers, so it's just 20 more, and then I'm halfway. So that's 70 kilometers, so it's just 90 more to go. That was another uh, resting area and another common start. So that was 80 kilometers, halfway there. I just finished the resting area and then I also learned that each foot decided to have a blister each. Yes. So that was the 90 kilometer. Also a chance to get some uh, warm vegetable soup. That was good. Uh, 90 kilometers. It actually sounds weird to say it's only 70 kilometers left. That's not only. And what time is it? I'm not sure what time it is. Uh, I guess about three o'clock. Three something. So then it's, as I said, 70 kilometers and yeah, 30 more hours since we're not finishing before 4 p.m. tomorrow. No, today. Another resting area. It's 4.20 in the morning. So tired. Getting close to 100 kilometers, so. So then we started again. I guess uh, I had about 20, 30 minutes of sleep. So that was needed. So now it's just to keep on walking. It's 
It's a quarter past five, past the 100 kilometers, so just 60 more to go. Uh, and also within a few hours, it should be start getting light. So, yeah, looking forward to that. So that was 110 kilometers. And just a few minutes ago, this woman was screaming at me. Hey, you're walking, not sleeping. Yeah, I'm so tired. So, you know, soon it should be light enough. So you wake up more and yeah, but just 50 more to go, just 50 more to go. You're walking, not eating. I'm eating. <laughs> So another resting point, it's getting close to 120 kilometers. I got 20 minutes here. In total, I just took care of some um, bottle needs and now we're gonna change socks and back to the other shoes again and see if I have time to get something to drink, but shoes first. So just about to start again. That was a quick stop, I didn't have much time. Uh, I got to shift, uh, I got to change my shoes, socks, pop some blisters. I really wanted a breakfast beer, but uh, didn't have time, so... Uh, gotta have that somewhere else. Stretch your head. And off we go. So great having the sun. Not tired at all anymore. So yeah, I was just like I started yesterday. Except from the feet, are maybe a little more sore. So that's 124 kilometers, and that is the same as the longest walk I ever done. The Bonholm, walking around that. So now every kilometer, every meter is a new personal record. So just enjoying it. And it's just 36 more kilometers to go. Perfect. Another uh, support station stop. See what they got there. If it's anything tempting or I just keep on walking. Kept on walking. Good uh, rest point. Which rest point yeah. is this? Bacon. Eggs and bacon. Thank you. You're welcome. Not long ago, passing the 130 kilometer, and yes, feet are really hurting. So walking just keeps on giving and giving, but it will be great to sit down later today.
That's soon at the last big uh, resting area. Uh, hopefully, we'll be able to get the uh, 15 20 minutes break there before we gotta keep on. It's 11.34 now and uh, we're leaving from there at 11.50. So hopefully, hopefully 20 minutes. Yes? Yeah, ma. So I'm actually getting 23 minutes. So I'm at the resting area. I'm gonna get some, yeah, get my shoes off, get some air on my feet. But first, the most important part. Delicious. We are ready to start on the last 25 kilometers. down to the last 22 23 kilometers in just below four hours normally that's no problem at all and hopefully that will not be a problem today either and uh, yeah of course there's some pains in the feet with, uh, they actually feel better than I thought that would so it's a good sign, isn't it? So that's on 40 kilometers now. Just easy 20 more to go. The sun is burning quite a lot now. Uh, getting close to the 150 kilometer, so only 10 left. So even though the last hours is when the feet have been hurting the most, I'm not gonna say that's been the toughest hours. I think the toughest hours was during the night trying not to fall asleep, which I did a couple of times while walking. So just like the fight to stay awake. So I think that's been the toughest part. <laughs> no, it's just pain. So yeah, but still just about two more hours. So looking forward to for that, we done. I just couldn't let this opportunity pass. No way. If I didn't say, that bear was at 147 kilometers. Oh, that was delicious. It was just like a, I don't know, five, six, seven minutes break. But that was heaven. So that was the 150 kilometers. No, it seems like there's a last, well, there's a little, uh, at least a support point, so I'm gonna see if I get something to drink there. And maybe a snack. You yes. walk 5,7 kilometers. I just uh, quickly grabbed some candy. Now I have one hour and 10 minutes to walk 5.7 kilometers. That's where we are meeting up to do the final kilometers together into the finish.
finally at the last meeting point. But from here we will go together to the finish. Keep marching on for the last finish.